Hi, I'm Johnny Nomega, and we're in, of course, Nomega Recording Studios. Today we're going to be going over how to sample in Reason. That's a quick and easy way to begin your sampling in Reason. We're also going to have a side footnote for those that love the T-Pain sound of how to get that T-Pain sound. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to quickly get that T-Pain sound with auto-tune. We're not going to go into in-depth detail, but this is meant to be a quick tutorial on how to sample using Reason and how to begin to tinker with that T-Pain sound. We've already sampled a vocal here, a voice sample, and this is in the window. As you can see, this is Reason 4 here, and I'll take the effect off here. And to my left, we're in the window, and you'll see Reason on the screen to the right. I'm going to click out of that here. So here are the vocals that we captured. No, you wanna be hot like me. And that goes on. So to get that T pain effect, I'm gonna come here to auto tune. Let me just compress it so it's a fuller sound. Come here to auto tune. I have auto tune four loaded up here. And all I did was put the retune on fast and the tracking. I lowered it to a somewhat relaxed, chose the key of E flat, soprano. You can leave everything at the default settings and it will begin to give you that T-Pain effect. You can play around with it to get it the exact way you want it and begin chopping it up or just leave it as is from that point. No, you won't. Let me solo this here. No, you wanna be hot like me, but you can, but you can. And there you go, quick and simple. Your retune on high, your tracking on low, pick your key, pick whether you're soprano or alto. Normally I like to use soprano because they give you more of that, that effect, that tuning effect. And there you go. So now we're going to begin sampling. We're going to take that and sample it into Reason. So this is the entire sample here. No, you want to be hot like me, but you can, but you can. I know you wanna be hot like me, but you can, but you can get down. And the get down is the only part we want to sample today. So I'm gonna come here, take it off of snap, which snaps to every beat or bar. And I'm gonna just tell it to select a little bit get before down. a little bit before the, the sample. I can adjust the exact starting place inside of Reason. Get down. Okay. I'm going to go to File. I want to export that audio. Back into my song folder, my original song folder, which is GST Song 1, if I can find it here. GST Song 1, go to Audio, Tracks, and I'm sampling a voice, but for you producers out there, you can sample kick drums, snares, guitar loops, piano sounds, and phrasing and reason, which means that it will scale it to every note, sharp and flat, as well as natural, in your key scale. So we're going to call this uh, Vocal Sample. Okay, now that that is exported, I'm going to come select, click on my mixer, create my NNXT, which we're going to use to sample today. I'm going to call it Vocal Sample. And I selected my mixer first so that it samples, that it connects my NNXT, my sampler here, into Reason, into the mixer, and from there into Reason. Okay. Come here, automatically loaded the piano for me. I'm going to tell it to initialize those sounds, which is basically to get rid of those sounds. I'm going to come here to load sample. Go to the folder where I have it. I clicked on desktop. Go to GST Song 1. Audio, track, hit vocal sample. There's my sample. So now when I come over here, 
I'm going to create an additional MIDI channel. Call it VS for vocal sample. My output is going to be Reason, vocal sample. And now that my sample should be there. Get down. So my sample's there, but as you can tell, this is a small delay from the time when I press it from the time you hear the sample. So I'm gonna tighten that up here. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get get down. Get get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get 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 down. Okay, so my sample's ready. Come back here into reason. And now I'm ready to go. Let's try it out. You wanna be hot like me, but you can, but you can. Okay. And it's there. We're gonna do that over. Those, for those of you that need to hear it, get down, get, 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 get down. I'm gonna actually route it a little advanced for a lot of you, but I'm gonna flip reason over. I'm gonna take my NNXT with my vocal sampler. I'm actually going to route it. To the back of my hardware device so my audio out is reason puts it. And what that does is that creates an additional channel in the window forward. So versus coming through the one and two, I can actually get it to find reason here. Come through the three and four and be on its own channel so I can put its own audio effect. Get get down on it. I'm gonna just link these channels here. Get down. Let's try that again. But you can. But you can. Get down. Get 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 down. Get down. Get 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 down. Get 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 down. Get down. Get down. Get down. And there you go. Once again, I have a MIDI controller that's off screen, but that's how you sample using Reason. Thank you.